hey, 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 everyone. Today's video is going to be on how to add an IP printer or remove a printer from your list of printers on your Mac OS device. But before we get going, please hit that like button below. And while you are doing that, also take a moment to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with my latest tutorials. So, as I mentioned, today's video is on how to remove or add an IP printer to your Mac device. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come over to the top left and click on the Apple logo icon. And then you want to click on System Preferences. Now you want to look for the icon that says Printers and Scanners and you want to click on that. Now, you'll already have a list of printers sometimes. If your list is empty, then just go to the Add a Printer. But if you need to change a printer or if a printer was moved, like the main reason I'm doing this video right now, the first thing you want to do is remove a printer. So I only have one printer on my list, but what you would do is you would select your printer by clicking on it, and you'll see it turn blue. And then you'll see down below here there's a minus button. You want to click on that to remove the printer and then click delete printer to confirm it and you'll see the printer is gone. Now to add a printer you want to click on the plus button. Your display will probably look just a little different than mine because I'm on the beta but you will see a section for IP across the top. You want to click on IP. For the address you want to put in the address so if your IT people or you know it or anybody sends you an IP address, you want to put that in for the address. So I'm going to put in the address of the printer I'm working on adding. You want to change this to HP Jet Direct, but you can leave it on IPP. Ours seem to work better with the HP Jet Direct. For name, you want to name it anything you want, so whatever helps you remember where the printer is. So I'm going to call it High School Mailroom. Now sometimes it will usually auto select under use. This one actually is not correct. So I'm going to click on the drop down and come down to select software. And in the little filter because there's a huge list of printers you don't want to have to scroll through all those. I'm going to actually type in part of the printer address. Ours that I'm using is a C307. I put in 307. You can click on that and then click OK. And then once you have the IP address in, the protocol for HP Jet Direct, the name that you want to give it, it can be anything you want, and the use, which is the driver or the name of the printer or the model of the printer, then click Add. It'll take just a moment or two. There we go, and you'll see now that the printer's in my list, and I am good to go. So that is how you add an IP printer on your Mac OS device. So don't forget to check out my site at adamontech.com where you can submit suggestions or follow-up questions to these video tutorials. While there, you can read my writings that explore a number of topics in greater detail. You can also leave a comment below or hit me up on Twitter at twitter.com slash adamontech. So until next time, this is Adamontech signing off.